Cherubim is actually a song written from Psalm 80, and I combined a few other scriptures. And I believe it's, it's ultimately the cry of the nation of Israel. You know, at the time it was written, it was the cry of the nation of Israel. And in the end times, I believe that Israel is going to cry out to their shepherd again. Um, even as they're surrounded by the nations on every side, they're going to cry out, O shepherd of Israel. And the good news is they're actually going to see him for who he really is. And he is going to restore. He is going to cause his face to shine upon that nation and upon that city of Jerusalem. He is going to look upon that city with favor, and the light of his countenance is going to shine upon Jerusalem, upon Israel, in a way that we cannot even begin to describe. So much so that he's actually going to set up his throne in Jerusalem. He's going to return to the planet and rule the universe from the city of Jerusalem. God is not finished with Israel. And I want to join in with that song as being grafted into that tree. And I want to say, oh, shepherd of Israel, restore and cause your face to shine. For such a time as this, restore and cause your face to shine. And the end of the song is for the glory of your name, for your glory and your fame that the nations would turn to you. That's our cry, that the nations would see his glory and see that he's just and true. He's true in his promises to Israel and he's true in his promises over our individual lives. Thank you so much for listening.
Though the nations rage toward you, let our love remain true. For the glory of your name, for your glory and your fame. Though the earth be removed, we lift our hands to all.